the governor of Kaduna State, um, El Rufai, is in the news, but not for um, anything positive. Rather, this is a very disappointing reason why he showed up on our channel right now. And what is it about? That the governor has blocked P2B supporters from using just a venue in Kaduna State called Arawa House to have a meeting or a convention, a presentation. The governor of Kaduna State, he descended so low to stop them and said they will never use the venue, just a hall to do the activities. And it's not like uh, he told them a month uh, ago or one week before, but they said Everything was done, accepted, but 24 hours to the event, the governor struck like a thief in the middle of the night and denied them the use of the venue. And the people are fuming with anger. And they said, even denying them the venue will not stop them from doing what they want to do. There are other venues that they must go ahead with their activities. Remember that um, El Rufai's son, it looks like uh, there's a hatred in this family against Obi and uh, his ambition. His son once said that if Peter Obi wins the election, he will climb on top of the mountain and call himself a goat and start shouting like a goat. <laughs> He's not in politics yet. He's the son of the governor of Cardinal State. And this is how he perceives P2B and his inalienable right to rise to become Nigeria's president. And this boy or young man has spoken in this language and we didn't hear anything condemnation from his father or whatever. Anyway, before we give you full details of what has happened, we want to give you a gentle reminder to please like, to share this content and subscribe to our channel, especially if you're coming across us for the first time. P2B Support Network, it is called, they have condemned Nasir Erufai for his decision to prevent a planned Northern Summit in support of Mr. P2B from holding at the Arewa House in Kaduna State, as was planned and paid for. It's not only a plan, they have also paid for the venue. And then this man struck. Not on summit, it's a bottle of P2B. The governor, through his spokesperson, called the manager of Arewa House to, native, to notify P2B support network spokesman that we cannot have Peter stroke Dati Northern Summit in Arewa House less than 24 hours to the event. Even Dati Baba Ahmed is from Kaduna State. He's a son of the soil. We are talking of his governor, Erufai, who is the governor of Kaduna State. He didn't care. He has an axe to grind with them a grudge that is bearing and we don't know what it is. The governor, however, failed to give any reason for turning down the group's widely advertised use of the venue. They have paid, they have made advert, and 24 hours to the time, the governor woke up from his slumber, called the general manager and said, tell them they cannot use the venue. Common venue. It's what has been happening in Nigerian politics. If uh, you have governor of party A in charge of state A and the opposition party is party B, they want to use a stadium. The governor of party A will say, no, 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 they cannot use this stadium because most stadiums in Nigeria are owned by state governments. Just to use a venue, they play politics up to that level even when you pay. That is our own democracy. 
So the frontline support group had unveiled plans to hold a summit specifically designed to interact with supporters of the frontline presidential candidate across the 19 northern states of the country. Comrade Sani Said Al Tokri, the spokesman for the P2B support network, told newsmen that the summit is not a political campaign of any sort, but a converge of volunteers and would be volunteers and supporters of the B Dati project for necessary interaction and cross fertilization of ideas. The event was built to hold on the 19th of July 2022 at the popular Arewa House, Rabba Road, Kaduna, in Kaduna State, but the governor issued a directive counseling the use of the venue after the group had paid for its use. So the support group further stated that Governor Erufa is too small to support to stop the people's movement, which P2B represent vowing not to succumb to intimidation aimed at suppressing the liberation of northern Nigeria from underdevelopment and poverty. So, this is what is happening. Why a governor will descend this law to do this, I don't know. Everybody is talking about P2B. Every party is afraid of P2B. And they say it doesn't have structure that his supporters are just based on the social media, but why is everybody afraid of this man that doesn't have any support? That's a question that Governor A. Rufai has to address. That's what is happening, and we just decided to bring it to you because it's important you have this information. And before we sign off, kindly like, share this content among all your contacts, subscribe to our channel especially if you're new, and we'll see you in our next video.